Here to tell us more about the midshipmen is head coach Ed DeCellis. Coach, what excites you most about this year's upcoming team? Well, I think we got a great nucleus of players returning uh, to our team, and uh, that's exciting. We've got a couple seniors who have played and some juniors and sophomores. We've got a balanced class situation now. So we've got some veterans returning, some kids who played a lot of minutes, and uh, look forward to the season. When you were without Tillman Dunbar last season, the offense really struggled. Well, he's back this year. He's going to man that point guard position. What does that do for the team as a whole? Well, I think it gives us a different dimension. Uh, Till's a guy that can really push the ball in transition. He's fast with the basketball, and, and you know you have to guard him, and then he can spray the ball, and we have some guys on the perimeter who can shoot the ball, and last year they had a hard time getting shots because we didn't, we really couldn't get the ball up the floor like we want to, and so now he can push it. We've got some kids who can shoot the ball. We can uh, score it in, in, the, in the open court, uh, which hopefully will help us and help the other guys and make them a little better that people can't pack things in on us now and he's pretty good off a of ball screen and uh, looks you know he makes other guys better which was an aspect that we didn't have last season. Coach for the midshipmen to have consistent success this season give me an x-factor. Well injuries we we, we, uh, we can't have uh, injuries we've had some injuries in the fall so far and, and uh, hopefully we've got to clean those up and guys get better but we can't lose a, a Tillman Dunbar again or a worse Smith or Brandon Vetterini, one of the three guys we're really counting on, you know, day in and day night, day in and day night to to uh, to be a consistent player for us and, and score some baskets for us. So I think we'll be I think we'll be pretty good. I think we're a much improved program, much improved team, but we, we have to stay healthy. Yeah, now this is really cool, Coach. The first ever Veterans Classic was announced over the summer. What does it mean to now host an annual event with the likes of Michigan State, Tennessee, and VCU on Veterans Day? You guys obviously being Navy and what you represent to the country. Well, it's a great honor, first of all, to, to uh, host the, the Veterans Day Classic. It's a, it's a great opportunity for three other teams to come. And it's not just playing a game. We actually are going to honor veterans before game. The teams are going to spend time with veterans the night before the game on Thursday, on, on Thursday night, the night before we play on Friday. So uh, the teams are coming in. They're going to experience a military day. So they're going to go and, and see what a YP boat looks like, helicopters, marine static uh, uh, displays, seal static displays, a, a boat simulator, flight simulator. And then they're going to spend some time with the Wounded Warriors on Thursday night, the night before we play. So the game's important, but the things leading up to the game are, are really more important. Coach, it doesn't get any cooler than that. I really appreciate the time. Best of luck to you and the Navy this season. All right, thank you very much.